right, well, I thought that I would share an older craft that I did uh, regarding the Fabled Lands books. And uh, these Choose Your Own Adventure books um, are just fantastic if you're not familiar with them. Um, it's a giant open world and all these books are connected. So you can actually go from one place, oops, get this in here correctly, um, from one book to the next and back again. Um, here, so there's seven books now. There's rumors that there's eight Number eight is in the works, so we'll see if that ever comes to fruition. Um, and then Dave Morris and Jamie Thompson put together the uh, Keep of the Lich Lord in the Fabled Lands um, universe in the worlds here. And uh, this was originally, I believe it was a like a fighting fantasy kind of thing, and it's been converted to the Fabled Lands, so highly recommend that. Um, one of the things that I did is created this little holder here um, to keep everything together and um, looks great on bookshelf. But another thing that I did, um, talking with uh, Mr. Dave Morris himself, was to take a look at um, making a map. So I made a neoprene map here and um, this thing is fantastic. So I can actually start and I have a little miniature here. I haven't um, painted them yet. That's uh, been on my agenda for a while. <laughs> and uh, so here's how it works, right? So I'm just, as I'm going through from book to book, I can use the map here to kind of give me an idea of where I'm at in the realm at any given point in time. And um, I believe that Sorcerer's Isle and this area in here is where the uh, Keep of the Lich Lord sort of takes place right there. But um, so this is really cool. So to be able to have this out while I'm playing is um, pretty fun. And then uh, let's take a look at this folder right quick. So this is it here. And um, I also have on the back side a little map here which tells you uh, what part of the land each one of the books takes place in. Uh, so that um, cool little graphic there. And then lastly, you can see here I made a little slot here for the character um, sheets um, and other version of the map that you have there. Um, and um, let's see how this works out. So you have um, your character here. This is all dry erase. I actually use wet erase markers um, and I have these uh, what they're called overhead projector markers. And these are wet erase and what that means is that when you write on there, um, they will dry, right? So they don't just rub off. And so you need to get a wet paper towel and then you can um, just take that stuff right off of there. Um, and uh, so it's really great, right? Because you can leave this on literally forever, come back with the moist paper towel, and then it comes right off. Unlike dry erase, which really, um, if you would put it on there, it turns your paper pink, and there's all kinds of different things happening with it, and it doesn't want to come off easy enough if you leave it on there for too long. Um, all right, we've got keywords here for all of the books um, listed here. And I got all this stuff off of BGG, you guys, so um, it is available. But to have all of this um, into, oh, and that's an errata for all of the books as well. Um, but to have it all available in together in one um, sort of character sheet situation is too cool for school as well. So um, there is that. This is my holder uh, right in here. And um, this will roll and fits in there as well, like you saw. And there you go, Fabled Lands. Okay, 